So hello guys, it's Krink and welcome to another speed bill. This one is on the cheap neighborhood, as I like to call it. It started as a starter, but it didn't end up this way. I liked it a little bit more than I thought to, and I just didn't want to throw cheap stuff in there, so I made it as the house to buy after a starter, a second that I don't know. It has one bedroom, but it has the potential for a second one. It has the same color scheme as the rest of the new Quest buildings. Brown, grey, white, you know. It is a modern one, and it took me only one and a half hours. It would probably take me way less if I didn't change all the furniture and then the color of the furniture, but at least I think it looks really cool, as it actually turned out. So it was worth it, I think at least. I used only base game and perfect patio stuff, but I wouldn't bet on it. The perfect patio was used only in the patio area, obviously, duh. so you can skip that and replace it with base game furniture if you don't know it, which is a plus. So after rambling for so long, you can see that I already made, well, it's not final, the layer to the kitchen and the living room. On the dining room, I made this awesome cabinet corner thingy that few houses have. I thought it was brilliant, then I made the upstairs bathroom. Hey, did you notice that I firstly made the house layout and then I furnished it? Yay me this time! Then I continue with a bedroom. I put a bed side by the side to the wall, which finally two seats can actually use. And then I continued by figuring out how the outside should look like. I had trouble finding a fence I liked because I didn't want a fence, I just wanted a half wall. Actually, half walls were added to the game before I built this house, so I went with a classic glass fence. I painted the indoors, put floor on it, and few doors for sims to actually have access to the rooms, so not only port all the time, because I actually want to know how much money I had left to furnish the outside. I put few more windows for some natural light, I'll put few more later, but for now I was watching the budget. And then I had fun trying to find the proper cheap kitchen wallpaper. I don't like any of the wallpapers as kitchen ones from this game, at least the cheap ones. So it made it even harder, watch me struggle. And then the kitchen was too blank, no colors. I changed the cabinet colors and the fridge color. Now I'm having fun trying to find the kitchen floor. I went with this grey one, which made everything look more like a hospital. So I changed the chairs to at least have some color on them. We went with a purple, which made the back wall look awful. And I had to change both the wall and the cabinets. Part one was changing everything. Told you, most of the time it took me to change stuff to make it look decent. Then I thought, ha! I have some money, let's put decorations to make it look more like a house, you know, that seems in here. But it was long till I realized that those two less decorations that I put were costing more than the kitchen. I put few decorations on the kitchen to be more like a kitchen, less than stuff thrown together. I went with a purple, blue, yellow color seam at first inside the house. I put few more basic stuff for your seams and then lights, which which you hear it and you know it, not plenty of good lights in this game. So I went with Beamer. I changed the color of everything to go with the color scheme that I firstly chose, as I said. I put a few more decorations and in a minute I'll change the rest of the colors as well as I put a few more lights. Then I start changing the color of everything, the walls, the bathroom and the living room. Not the, the bedroom to actually match the firstly choose color scheme, which is gonna change afterwards, but it's okay, it turned out pretty, pretty nice. I think I liked it a lot. I put a few more decorations and accent wall colors, and then lights you know, lights are important in this game, at least on the night. So I haven't noticed the budget up to this point, so I was like, what can I put there that it's cheap? I didn't like any of the extra cheap stuff, so I went with perfect party items, just to spoil them, but not much. So I started finalizing the outside. I haven't noticed the budget. Yeah, it's way off for a starter, but whatever. I was trying to keep things simple, minimal, and to at least satisfy my mind with basic stuff, to make it look at least somewhat as I imagined it. But it was hard. <laughs> and then the catastrophic moment that I noticed, the budget. I haven't even painted the outside walls. I didn't want to start removing stuff. I didn't want to ruin the image that I had in my head. So I was like, screw this, I put nice stuff. It will be a nice house, I don't care. I like it too much to be basic and blank. 
So I went ahead and changed everything with somewhat better stuff, not the cheap ones, but I didn't want to over budget the house. It's on the cheap neighborhood, after all, I put a better bed and all of the other things. <laughs> but I kept the original colors in. You know, challenge wave number two, we have one more coming soon. I put few more details, I now actually know that I can spend more money, so I was extra happy, shopping spree, woohoo! Many details, yeah, after I found out <laughs> there was no limit, yeah, I made it more like a house, I even, paint, I even put it paint and such. And, and then change wave number three and final, the house had plenty of blood. And the outside is more of a natural, so I didn't like it. It was bothering me way too much to leave it like that. So I went ahead and changed everything with more natural colors, which I ended up liking it so much more. Blues all around, so nice work of art. I even placed the rug, shopping spree, woohoo! <laughs> um, and then, as you can see, I finally light up the corner, which was way too dark. And then I changed the stairs to be more of a natural color. And I went to the bedroom, changed all the colors, obviously. And as I pop, I played some red items. And I really like it. Well, I had trouble deciding which I wanted red, but who cares about that. Then I changed the bath. Then <laughs> I changed the bathroom because it is currently all black. And I made it base too. Everything is so natural, I love it. Few details here and there in the bathroom. And then I hid it up on the outside, which I think I made it look magical. Well, I think it was a small room and the lot was even smaller. So yeah, I used for the first time those woods on the wall, which I thought they looked pretty nice, I have to admit. I spoiled them with a big outdoor sofa painter, I don't know, whatever it's called, and few candlelights. I placed the plant there, which I think at least gave a nice tone to the backyard patio area, and I hid it on the front yard. I had this big weird space and I wanted to do something with it. I thought it would be a good idea to put trash can in mailbox and the bench, but I realized it was looking terrible, so I kept it very simple and minimal. I created a modernist roof, and I painted the walls, that, and I think I'm probably done with the house. I'd like to take a moment and thank you for watching this video. Please leave your comments on how you liked the Not Starter house. I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to download it, or you can find it in the gallery by setting my username, which is the same as here. Thank you all so much. I hope you'll have an amazing day. Take care. Bye!